I muted the Zoom. So welcome again. And uh, I just want to say thank you for everybody who helped to organize it and uh, our uh, website support. If you have any issues, uh, contact those people or send it to me. We are also going with the uh, uh, online only versions of the workshops. So if you are uh, interested and you cannot come to this workshop or travel, uh, you probably should look in the next few months when we will be announcing the serverless uh, workshop online version only. All of our workshops are recorded online, I think, for the last two years. And then uh, all those program committee people, uh, without them, there would be no workshop today. That's quite a bit of work to review all those papers that we received. So uh, hopefully uh, they will continue helping us with reviews in future. And uh, as I was saying that 25 speakers, including keynote speaker, and we have only like five hours, uh, not well, counting actually breaks. So um, think about that your talk is to advertise your research or you know find other people that are interested in your research. If you have longer version of your talk, which I highly recommend it, like you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, one hour long, send it to us and uh, we will be happy to link it from our website for people that are interested and also advertise it on Discord, which I think is the next slide. So there is the you know participation here where you can ask questions, but if you want to ask questions later on to speakers, hopefully speakers will join the Discord and then you can ask them directly or you know easy enough to send emails directly to speakers. But if you do it using the channel, better chance that you are uh, connecting with everybody here and everybody remotely. So if you have a question or you know some idea or something you want to express, it's very good to idea to do it in Discord. Um, Pedro, do you want to talk a little bit about the serverless? So uh, every every workshop that we organize, we have some traditions of, of asking the community some feedback. So this year we start a new tradition that it's uh, asking you uh, to vote on the best paper serverless award this year. Uh, we are not including the papers on the workshop, so they are uh, full uh, research papers published elsewhere. So in other, in other conferences. Okay. So uh, you, uh, you can click here and um, follow this link. You can, of course, if you go to the program of WASC, uh, you can always uh, go to these slides and follow this link. I don't know if we can even share this link in Discord too for the people. Yes, definitely. And um, please uh, vote on, on the serverless paper. When you when you con I mean this is open, so we will announce it probably in the end of the war. So you you don't have to do it now, uh, but please uh, vote on this because I mean there are a, a bunch of very interesting papers this year. I mean I would uh, cluster them in three uh, uh, groups. Uh, first one uh, about optimizing function as a service runtime and infrastructure with hardware accelerators and other kind of things. There is a bunch of papers on serverless orchestration. And there is also a group of papers on serverless data analytics with interesting ideas. So I would ask you to, to vote on that. And we will share results with the community in the end. Then another tradition that we do is to ask two questions to the community. Uh, and, and it's what are the main challenges in serverless computing? And, and what are the future of serverless computing? We have two editions doing that. And we gener generate a, this word cloud. Uh, with the ideas of of the of the people from the from the audience, uh, so here uh, we have this thing. We have it first. So first, uh, about the the challenges, we do, we see here common things like uh, first year people talk about the state, debugging, standardization, low latency billing, synchronization. We we all know these these challenges. Uh, Last year in 23, we, we also see state latency, but we also see other kind of challenges here that, that appeared, uh, like programming abstractions, the booking experience, heterogeneous devices, uh, and other things. Uh, in the future of serverless, uh, there is also a transition from hybrid cloud continuum. This is 22. Uh, cloud edge applications, easy to use. Uh, workflows, that, that it's a, a common topic. And then in WASC X2, we, we see different things like multi-cloud that was new, 
like also GPT like uh, things and AI integration, IoT and other kind of things. So here we could now, you could also now contribute to this poll. Uh, if you can do it now, I don't know if you are ready because many of you don't have devices here, uh, but then we could see the word cloud now. Should we try or change to the, we can change to the Mentimeter and then I start to present. It was already an open. Uh, Yes. That is Mentimeter, right? Yes, so we can say present here. And we already see some. <laughs> and uh, all those are uh, linked from the welcome slides if you go to uh, program uh, of the workshop. So you can find it, slides, find that link from there. And also I will put it in this course, right? online also. So it seems like the cost is winning. Yes. <laughs> so so we can probably give one minute a move or and it stays open, right? Not sure. For at least two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> because now it's telling that we wait to the presenter. Right. So, so it's online. <laughs> I think we have a second one, right? Yes, there is a second question. Uh, I'm the presenter, so I move to the next slide to ask for questions. So, okay, let people answer now because later on it's closed. It's not like the form that it's open for the best paper award. So. Okay. Right, so now we have 29 response, 29 responses. It's, I think we can move probably. So let's go 32, this is increasing. So we can probably move to the next one. So in the first one, we already see that we have 33. Consistency, it's winning. Uh, cost and state remain there and heterogeneous computing as new interesting things here. May, this has changed a lot compared to previous years, so it's interesting. So let's move now to a second question about the future of serverless. Now you can answer.
<laughs> servers is the future of serverless. <laughs> <laughs> Without servers. <laughs> oh, I think we have now 37 responses. It's interesting that the future of serverless is servers. <laughs> so maybe. <laughs> how to optimize the use of servers. And then there is a lot of variety with workflows, open source, 5G, well, interesting. So we will share this with the audience. We will share it in Slack, in, in Twitter, and, and in the other places. So I, I think that's all with our feedback with the community. And probably we, we can start. So Alec, I, I give you the floor. Thank you. Go for the...